Well, guys, what we've been saying for almost two years and what many of the so-called experts actually said the first few months of this shit show is now being openly reported by the media following studies from Bristol University. These studies claim what most of us thought that these stupid cloth masks, otherwise known as face nappies or sheep muzzles, are about as useful as using a cotton sock for a condom. Here you can see this study states that 90% of particles get through because cloth masks are made like bloody clothes and therefore have no filtering properties at all and will instead just create a breeding ground for bacteria since they thrive in warm damp places. Obviously the N95 medical masks are a little bit of a different thing and only when worn properly does this even matter, they have to be changed often and never touched as you likely know. This is why they are only useful estates in clinical settings or was considered that way pre-March 2020 anyway. That even on a beach, if you're looking at those pictures that we've just seen, if you're on a crowded beach, mm. there's a risk of transmission. Uh, and in theory, if you go swimming in the sea, you should be wearing a mask. Oh, and actually, looking at the study paper itself, which I will link below, the 10% effectiveness is the top of their estimated usefulness. They put it as low as 2.5%, though to be honest, 10% ain't much better, is it? So according to this study, face nappies are almost completely useless, I would say. Imagine our bloody shock on that one. I'm pretty sure 50 studies released in the last two years and before have said this already, but we kind of guessed this much from day dot anyway. Now before I go, I've started a gilded server that will be linked below after Discord's recent policy change, so join that if you want to. On top of that, I'm also going to link the Telegraph article and study itself below for you to read, like I said. Either way, this just proves most of you right when we all started calling it out in 2020. It just amazes me that they've managed to keep it going for this long, and shit, people are still doing it, let's be honest. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.